guys on my shot show. I got Rick here. He's going to show you a pretty cool piece of gear for these law enforcement guys. Well, this is uh, the Baker Ballistics MRAPS 4, the world's only man carryable threat level 4 shield. It'll take armor piercing, black damp, high penetration, 30 out 6, 308, 5.56, 7.62 by 54 Soviet AP also. So, as you can see there, he's got an LED light in the front. He's got the capability of mounting his rifle, which is nice because a lot of guys can't use their rifle, or if they do, it's very difficult, right? Now you have a shooting platform, nice and stable. Very nice. Oh, I see uh, you have a neck strap on there. Yeah, this also clicks onto your tactical vest. This would unsnap. Nice. This is uh, for patrol use or MACTAC type tactics to where you, uh, you encounter somebody with a rifle out on the street and you have to do your, uh, your moving, you know, cover fire, move forward. So this is set up for patrol because there's nothing clip into, obviously, on a patrol shirt. However, uh, tactical vest, we have clips, you just put it on your drag strap. And uh, you go, and actually it wears real high when it's on your drag strap. So yeah. you have a great protection there. Uh, this year we've introduced the monopod, carbon fiber. Uh, this goes, you put it whatever length you want, and it balances off. So if you want to have a stationary shooting, armored shooting position, Put it right there. So, fingers. Nice. And it looks fairly comfortable. I mean, you got. Oh, that's great. You can wear to say all day. Because uh, I did some training with some shield uh, work at uh, the, the Riviera that's abandoned. Yeah. We did some Mac Tech training in there, counter uh -huh. terrorism. Ah, uh, so you know what's saying. And the shields that we got were not comfortable. <laughs> but this and, looks. And this they're only really handgun protective too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. So you know, you meet a guy with an AK on the street, and uh, yeah, that's a nightmare. That's yeah, a nightmare. this is uh, this is what this is for. You know, and you, cool. then you don't have to worry about what kind of ammo he has. Uh, for the law enforcement guys out there that might want to purchase this, what kind of ballpark price are we looking Just at? Just under five grand. Now, what was the reasoning for going with the, these two different materials here? Okay, what we have, this is an option. It's called the Rough Operations Cover. Uh, we had some concern with SWAT teams because the ceramic facing. This is ceramic backed with polyethylene plastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're concerned where it could get smashed and uh, harmed. Gotcha. Guys throwing it in the back of a truck. Uh, you, so we call it for rough operations. If, if they want to protect their ceramic and you guys aren't going to be real careful with an expensive ceramic face shield, uh, this goes on it. It's high impact foam and plastic, so you can just beat the heck out of it. Oh, okay. So this is, this is not Kevlar. That's an option. That's not, is, that, is that Kevlar no, or not? No. It's not. This is foam. Just to protect it. Right. It's a protective oh, okay. thing. It'll hold uh, the splash down a little bit. You know, okay. But we don't put any ballistic material in there. Gotcha. 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 Cool. Um, I don't know if you can talk about the details on how many shots it can take. Can well, it depends on the caliber, but a shitload. A shitload. Uh, in fact, you can shoot away all the ceramic, uh -huh. and the rest of this green material will still stop AK-47. Uh, so, just like you spread them out an inch, an inch apart. How many rounds have you guys have taken so far? We shot one up, uh, probably 65 rounds. 65 yeah. hits. That's awesome. So, That's good. And I mean, once you shoot the ceramic away, you're still this is still ballistic against rifle yeah, fire. Yeah, gotcha. Very cool. How did you actuate that light, by the way? Is there a, a pressure light, switch. light handle? Oh, okay, right pressure switch right there. Pretty and, standard. And this is low. I mean, we've, yeah. we've got this thing at 700 lumens in the uh, in the high position. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's like... That's, that's no, you, blinding. Yeah. You go down a hallway with that. It's oh, wide man. angle and the two center, uh, you know, spot. So you got flood and spot. That's it, exactly. Very the cool. Light. And also stroke, too. Very cool. And this is the uh, the same material as this this mm -hmm. green material without the ceramic. I actually remember seeing that uh, last, last year. Last year, yes, yeah, that's yep. right. So what we did uh -huh. this year is we put the ceramic on the front. Nice. We had to shrink it up because this is still in a smaller size, heavier than that. Nice, but nice. This rifle right one is probably about the same weight as what they gave you to carry around. <laughs> that thing is a beast, yeah. Yeah. Um, can you talk about this helmet here? Sure. Now that's a 3A uh, handgun, shotgun, submachine gun. Uh -huh. So it has a, uh, it's a multi-laminate uh, visor that's threat level 3A. Okay. This will take, it's rated to take one hit with a 44 Magnum, because mm -hmm. you'll lose a chunk. 
Yeah. You know, so you could take a couple of hits, but you have to spread them out for sure. 44 Magnum. Or you could take, uh, we rate it for three hits with a nine millimeter full metal jacket. Nice. And, uh, but nobody's gonna stand there and take multiple. Now, is this, is this modular where I can upgrade this to my existing helmet? Uh, it depends on the helmet. If it's got ears, it won't work on the new Mitch style with oh. the open ears. So you've gotta have like the pasket, you know. With that's what I have, front. I have the older. It'll style. work, oh. yeah, with the little lip on the top. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and ballpark price on that? Uh, this whole package, uh, ballpark is uh, just under Seven under seven hundred or uh, yeah, six and change. Let me see how much this weighs. I know it's going to have some weight to it, but yeah. it's it's it's, not bad. it's the price you got to pay, right? Yep. Yeah, That's and this flips cool. up, and so uh, and it, it's out far enough to where you don't get fogging. Well, see here, here in the West, you don't have to worry about that so much, but yeah. snow and fog and all. So it mounts up when you're ready to go someplace. And just pull the tap, and knock it down. Can you uh, demo that on your head? For sure, me? If, if it fits. Go for it. Okay, so okay. What we have here is a threat level 3A ballistic visor and helmet. And uh, we've designed it to integrate with our shields properly. There you go. So, take a long gun. And that one was called the bat, right? This is the bat shield. The bat shield. I'm a big fan of that shield. I like that. I wish I had one. <laughs> Very cool. What's your website? Yes, they can't carry us www.bakerballistics, plural, bakerballistics.com. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. All right, guys, so that's just a quick look at some of the products from uh, Baker Ballistics. Uh, if you're in the market, if you're in that kind of job where you need some of this stuff, check them out for sure.